and Matthew Pelios with Frank Barker. Oh, the karate expert surprises us all. Over, overreaching, Jack's going to jump on that immediately. He's got that front headlock position. uchibayashi has got to work on that wrist control, try and stand, maybe sprawl. Let's see what Jack decides to do. He's got excellent position on the back right there. He's like a, a baby koala on the back of uh, <laughs> Uchibayashi right now. So he's trying to get that left hook in. And you know what? He's got it. And this is good because even though the cage is there, now it's a disadvantage to Uchibayashi right now. So this is a, a huge advantage for Jack. You know, for Uchibayashi, you know, taking a slip early in the fight and Jack just jumping on him is just like a gift for Jack, you know? So we can see Jack going to the mount now. This is very dangerous. He's probably going to be looking for an arm triangle right now. It really seems like he's doing what he wants to do at will. So, you know, Jack just dominating positions and, and Aoi looks a little bit lost at the moment. Yeah, Uchibayashi certainly made an error trying to head kick at, at that range. Fell over. Jack took advantage and has been like this since. So that's what happens. It just takes some mistakes sometimes. Here he goes. He's trying to go to the back. So you're going to see Jack go from mount to the back. Yep. Mount to the back until he can find a crack in the armor. Now, right now, he's looking at sinking in that rear naked. Let's see if he transitions to the back. Again, the cage is in the way. So he's going to play patience here. He has to be patient. It's not an ideal position for Jack right now, but he's got so the choke. Oh, he's tapped out. It is over. Your winner via tap out, via rear naked choke, blue corner, far Jack Jenkins.